Leveraging trends is such a great way to get your Etsy shop and your newest listings taking off and making you a lot of money. Now, it takes some skill to learn the trends, but as someone who did not naturally understand trends at all and has become a trend expert that's recognized within the Etsy community, I, let me just tell you that everything is figure outable and you can learn this. Right now, a trend that is taking Etsy by storm is the grunge distressed font. So today I am gonna show you in Canva exactly how you can put distressing on any font or any element that you want to create this really, really on trend look. If you stick around till the very end, I will give you a list you can screenshot of the already grunge distressed fonts that I love in Canva to make that really easy for you to find them and not have to search. And I'll also show you another tool that I use to find really amazing distressed fonts that not everybody is using. If you wanna start learning more about trends and become an expert and understand how you can apply them to all of your new listings to really grow your Etsy shop this year, then you wanna check out my trend spotting membership. It's a monthly membership where I drop a trend report every single Monday with a list of the trends, an explanation video of what they are and how they're blowing up on Etsy. And I give you five product opportunities of listing ideas, things that are currently high demand, low competition that you can list right away for a better chance of ranking. We're also giving you all of the SEO for each one of those opportunities. From December 15th to January 26th, each week, I'm going to be releasing an incredible bonus. Like, Bonuses unlike I've ever done before, they're completely ridiculous. So now is the best time you could ever join. And right now you can get your first month for just $17 with the code KEEP20. So for more information about that and a sneak peek at what those bonuses are gonna be, look below in the description. Now let's pop over to Canva and learn this grunge distress font trend. So I am in Canva on a 1600 by 1600 square canvas. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just pick my font. Now I really like, something kind of chunky and bold. I feel like this is very much part of the trend right now. So Anton is a really great choice, but you can literally take any font within Canva and do this. So let's go ahead and create a simple phrase. There's kind of this funny like feral girl concept going on around right now. It is applying in all different ways, but there's this quote that says immediately no. I like how simple it is and it's perfect for this. So immediately no. And here is our font. Let's also throw in an element there we go. Okay, so let's say this is our design, but we want to update it and make it even more trendy with some distressing. The next thing you're going to do is go back over to your elements and you're just going to search the word distressing and it's going to come up with all of this kind of grungy looking stuff. Okay, so we're going to pick one that we kind of like for this. Let's try this guy and see 90 degrees. And I'm just going to cover the entire design with this kind of grungy look. And we're gonna come up and change the color of the grunge to white and bring it, hit position, and bring the layer to the top so that it's covering all of it. Now, remember that the background of this, the actual background of the canvas um, is also white. So if we just saved it like this, it wouldn't look quite right. We have a few more steps to do. But what we're gonna do, I can go ahead and undo, is we're gonna download this as a transparent PNG. And then we're gonna come back into Canva and remove the background so the distressing goes away. So let me show you how that works. We're gonna go to Share, Download. We're gonna go to Transparent Background. We're gonna come select the current page and um, done. You would put this all the way over to the right and you would get a 5,000 by 5,000 pixel PNG at 300 DPI. And that's a really, really good high quality file for selling a digital product or for selling a, or for like putting on a print on demand shirt. It's gonna print at really high quality. So that's just a that's just like a trick of the trade there. So we're gonna click download, save it to the folder that you want it in. And now I'm gonna bring it back into Canva. On a new canvas, I can bring it over and like I'm gonna show you how it looks right now. So if we change the background so we can see what we're working with, you can see that it still looks kind of wonky, but now now we're going to hit background remover and that is how we get like the most perfect distressing and it can go on anything so let's go ahead and put it on a mock-up i can now take this and i can click copy and bring it down right on to my mock-up and that is how you can get the distressing now remember over in the elements, there were all different levels of distressing. You can, this is highly distressed. You can go more lightly distressed. As promised, here is a list of the fonts that are in Canva that are already kind of a grunge distressed style font. You can go ahead and screenshot this for later so that you can reference it if you don't always want to go through these steps. But sometimes you just like want a specific look and you want to do it to a specific font. 
Another amazing tool is Creative Fabrica. It is this membership site. It is super, super low ticket, and I will get you a link below where you can get your first 10 downloads free. But it has literally millions of graphics and fonts and things like that. And so I went ahead and searched grunge fonts, and here are some examples of other things that you can just grab if you don't want to have to go through these extra steps in Canva. This is another resource that um, professional sellers use all the time to save time. It's just absolutely amazing. So they have really, really great grunge fonts. And then like, for example, let me just show you, they have lots of um, elements as well. So if we'd wanted to grab a raccoon out of here, look at this six, seven raccoon. I know we're all rolling our eyes, but you can see that there's like amazing things in here that you can use for your designs. If you're just getting started on Etsy or you're trying to grow your shop, I have an amazing freebie for you that might help you. It's my PDF download that's called four strategies that help me scale from $25 a month to $6,000 plus per month. And it has my best secrets for scaling on Etsy that helped me get that big jump. And you can just grab that free from the description today. Make sure if you wanna go deeper with me on these trends and learn what they are and how to use them and how to blow up your Etsy shop with trends, make sure to check out my trend spotting membership. With these bonuses coming up, there's literally never been a better time to join. I do monthly coaching calls where you can even get a shop audit with me, really, really involved in that community. And I run bonuses every few months. So it's really a pretty sweet deal. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you every single Thursday on the How to Sell Your Stuff on Etsy podcast and next week in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me.